What is colloquialism? Colloquialism is a word or phrase used in informal speech within a specific language, geographic region, culture, or historical era. Colloquial language develops through casual interactions between like minded speakers. Colloquial expressions allow an author to create authentic characters through their speech by including language specific to a time, place, culture, or socioeconomic status. Colloquialisms allow authors to indicate the time and place with dialogue that helps identify the setting. Colloquialism differs from other types of informal words, including slang, jargon, and idioms. Slang are words created by a culture or social group that becomes somewhat mainstream in everyday speech. Slang words can appear and disappear from language so they can indicate the time period. A few examples are goat, far out, and YOLO. Jargon references words or expressions used by a particular profession or group. Unlike colloquial language, jargon is mainly used within formal writing. Examples include idiopathic and earmark. An idiom is a phrase not meant to be taken literally. Idioms are only understood by native speakers or someone who understands the language and originating culture. Examples of American idioms are break a leg and hit the sack. Colloquial words and phrases are either regional, modified contractions, or altered names of objects and family members. Here are a few examples. Regional colloquialisms often lead to multiple words meaning the same thing. In different regions of the country, you might hear someone say soda, pop, or coke when talking about soft drinks. Some colloquialisms only exist in one region, like using wicked for something cool. A few modified contractions we may use in everyday speech are dunno, kinda, and wanna. Everyday objects are frequently colloquialized, like binky, crick, and nappies. Likewise, we develop colloquialisms for our family and close friends, like auntie, bestie, and mima. Authors often use colloquial language to make their characters feel more authentic. Here's an example from The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Twain includes the use of allowed, civilized, dismal regular, and lit out to highlight Huck's lack of formal education.